Welcome to the channel. You are here because you want to build a consistent and hopefully meta contending Machamp EX deck. Machamp EX stands as an undeniable, very powerful fighting type Pokemon in Pokemon Pocket. As the only stage 3 evolution line in the fighting category, it has an impressive 180 HP and a straightforward yet devastating Mega Punch attack, which deals a solid 120 damage on your opponents, which is great for sweeps and great for catching people off guard and pairs very nicely with Giovanni. But what truly sets the Machamp EX deck apart isn't just its strength, it's the ability to apply pressure from the moment it hits the field. Unlike most evolution lines, every stage of Machamp's evolution is battle ready immediately. Machop with a single energy hits for 20, Machoke with two energies hits for 50, and Machamp EX with three energies delivers a powerful 120 damage. This seamless progression ensures that you never lose momentum, putting constant pressure on your opponent from the very start. This deck is all about building up consistent damage output, culminating in the 120 damage from Machamp EX. The goal is simple, involve your Pokemon steadily while maintaining a reliable offensive presence. While Machop and Machoke may be modest in their damage output, they do play a crucial role in setting up for Machamp EX for a very big hit. In addition to Machamp's own evolution line, Primate joins our deck profile as a secondary fighting type attacker. Although Primate requires damage to ramp up to its full potential, dealing 100 damage when its health is reduced, it's still a much more consistent threat compared to Marowak EX which relies on coin flips to deal 80 or 160 damage. The inconsistency of Marowak's coin flip mechanic can be a game changer for you and your opponent. If you flip two tails, it's over for you. You will get zero damage and that alone makes Primeape a far more reliable choice and in the alternative, you could even swap out Primeape for Sandslash. Primeape synergy with Mankey is also worth mentioning. You can start with Mankey, use its reckless charge attack to deal some early damage at the cost of recoil and then evolve into Primate for a quick sweep because it damages itself and it makes Primate's effect live. If things go according to plan, Primate can secure the win before your opponent has a chance to fully stabilize and you need to build up on your Machamp EX so you can literally win with just Primate alone. For the rest of the deck, we stick to proven trainers and items that ensure consistency. Both Machamp EX and Primate are strong on their own, so you don't need the additional support from X Speed. Instead, Giovanni comes in to help Machamp EX secure key knockouts like taking down Starmie, Pikachu, and chipping away at Charizard EX. Mew Mewtwo and Articuno, an important tool in battling strong tier decks, Giovanni is going to be crucial here. The main drawback of Machamp EX is its inherent slowness. The lack of effective energy acceleration apart from the underwhelming Onyx and Golem strategy with Brock often leaves fighting decks struggling to keep pace with faster, more aggressive decks. While Machamp EX has great HP, its 120 damage output can fall very short against key Pokemon EX. Only managing to one-shot Pikachu EX thanks to the advantage of fighting type weakness and in comparison to Charizard EX, Charizard EX will just sweep you automatically. So Machamp EX is really struggling unfortunately at this time in this current Pokemon TCG pocket card pool. So as I mentioned, this leaves Machamp EX in a tough spot as it's often too slow to keep up with faster decks and its damage output is sometimes weak against other meta staples. But to reiterate, ditch Marowak EX. Marowak's coin flip mechanic is too unreliable for a competitive deck. I do not like it. Replace it with Prime A for more consistency. Skip the Brock strategy. I see a lot of people trying the Onyx and Golem strategy with the trainer Brock. It's just too slow and ineffective. Instead, focus on your strong, steady attackers like Primeape and Machamp. And consistency is key. Primeape is a fantastic support Pokemon that can either serve as a sweeper or act as a stall tactic while you're building up your Machamp EX on the bench. It gives the deck much needed flexibility and improves its competitive potential. And if they knock out the Prime Primeape in comparison to a Marowak EX, you're only giving away one prize card instead of two. Let's jump into some gameplay to see if I can persuade you to play this deck. I would love to hear some feedback, so let me know in the comments below. If you like this type of content, give it a like, comment, share, subscribe, and check out the rest of the channel. We cover Pokemon TCG, Pokemon Pocket, and Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel plus Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Okay, here's our first game, and we are going second, which is amazing because we've got our Mankey. And we've got our Machop, so this is like a perfect dream start, honestly. But let's see what we can do with this deck right now, and hopefully we are able to build up our Machamp on the back end. So let, let's see what happens. Got that research going. 
and their passing turn. Wow, that is that is very interesting. I'm very happy about that. We've got our Prime Ape, and I'm going to blind red card, and I will. Wow, not go for a Giovanni. I'll go for a Reckless Charge. And now, in theory, we have sweeping capabilities off the Prime Ape on the follow-up. Yo, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm so glad I saved my Giovanni because that Staryu is going to be very frustrating. Especially if they can get a Misty off. And we lost our Farfetch'd. We lost to a Farfetch. Okay, let's knock out that Farfetch'd. We are battle ready, as I discussed. We're gonna go into our Machoke, attach another energy, and we'll be hitting for 50. Not bad so far. I'm just really concerned that we won't draw into a Machamp. Darn, that is that is tough. That is really tough. We're not worried about it yet because we're gonna swing for a 50 and go for game here. And you know what? Sometimes red cards will do that to you. They'll brick the opponent, and your opponent won't have any sort of follow-up. But as you can see, even though we had a dream start, it's still a very slow deck. Let's jump into the next game. Okay, well, let's see. This is game two. Let's see how we do. We're going second, so this is a better start for us. We've got our Machop. No Mankey, unfortunately. That's a little scary, but uh, I think we can... I think we'll be fine, actually. We'll see what's up right now. We're playing against a budget fire deck, maybe. Who knows? Because every time I see a Ninetales, I don't see Charmander. So maybe this is Rogue versus Rogue. Okay, we got a red card. We've got our Machop. We have our Giovanni, Sabrina, Pokeball. Let's go for a Pokeball, and hopefully we get Mankey. There it is. Good deal, good deal. We got Mankey. We will do a blind red card because red cards are pretty disruptive overall. And we will go for... You know what? Let's go for one of the Vulpix. And we'll swing on a Knuckle Punch. We'll be able to knock out this Vulpix if it does not evolve on the next turn. Rapidash, Ninetales deck. There it is. Easy pickings. Even for a slow deck like Machamp, this is a really easy matchup for the deck. Why? Because this... This deck, Ninetales, is still pretty slow in comparison to the Machamp EX deck. We got our Primeape, we got another Machoke. We'll go for the Machoke, we'll go for the Primeape, and we'll attach on the Machoke, and we'll go for a Strength, and hopefully next turn we can draw into another Oak, or we'll actually draw into the Machamp. That Ninetales does some big damage, though. 90 is pretty, pretty huge, actually. If I was the opponent at this point, just because I'm losing the Ninetales, yeah, I would have either done a retreat or I would have allowed it to get knocked. And then I would have given energy to a different Pokemon. We've got our Oak. Let's get that Machamp and we will sweep. GG, my friend, GG. The deck is good. The deck is good against Rogue, but how well does it fare against the meta? That is the question. We're going second, and I'm very hyped about that. We've got our Mankey, finally. Wow, what an amazing start for our opponent. We've got Mankey, Oak, and Red Card. They got two Staryu's and the Lapras. That's pretty baller, if you ask me. I mean, what type of RNG hacks is this? What a great starting hand for them. This is a meta deck that we're playing against, and you'll see how well Machamp can do or how poorly it does against actual meta builds. Wow, look at that board. Oh my gosh. I am not entirely sure what I can do here. I will Oak, I guess. In hopes of getting into my... Okay, we've got Mankey. We've got Pokeball. We can get our Machamp now. But now we're relying on Machop. We have zero. Wow, we have... I'm, I am don't, I don't even know what to do here. I guess I'll attach on the Mankey. I'll blind red card in hopes for a good disruption. And then I'll Reckless Charge. And I really, really hope that I get a Primate next turn. Because if I do not get a Primate next turn, we're getting... We're getting destroyed. Misty. Oh my gosh. Yo, let's go. Another reason why we don't play Marowak is because we want consistency and reliability. Looks like they're trying to save that Staryu. I'm not sure if that was a good move, but it saves them the issue of getting a knock. I, I don't like it. I, I think that was a bad move. You're better off, honestly, letting one of the Staryus get knocked. You're only losing one price card anyways. Primeape, let's go for a sweep here. Yo, I am so hyped. They're probably going to bring out that Staryu and allow that Staryu to get knocked. If they bring out Articuno or Lapras, that is a terrible move. Yeah, exactly what we anticipated here. Yeah, that Lapras is going to be very brutal on the follow-up. 
because it's it recovers HP, right? Yeah, it heals 20, does 80. It'll knock out our Primeape easy too. No Machamp, no Machops, nothing. That, okay, we got our Machop now. We're, we're doing a deck thin here. We'll bring out that Machop. We will start attaching to the Machop. And we will go for a knock. We're going to go for two here. And I really hope we get him a choke because that's all we need to keep up with this meta deck. And Articuno Lapras, you already know it's resilient, it's strong, and once it gets off on Misty, it will sweep you easily. Okay, here we go. The first knock. And we could afford to put up another Mankey on board because they're all going to get knocked easy. So we have two turns to change the tide. If we get no Machoke, we lose. Wow, I was really concerned that they were going to go for the Farfetch because Farfetch only needs one energy attached. Unless they have Misty in hand and they're looking for a quick gamble. They might have it. They might have the Misty. I... This is... Yeah, this is kind of how it goes with Machamp. Oh my gosh, let's go. You know what? I think the opponent misplayed here. They should have brought back the Farfetch'd, retreated the Farfetch'd, and swept the Mankey. Then my Machoke would have taken literally 80 and my machamp would have not been able to keep up with that lapras i think we would have we would have for sure lost that game but this has given us breath of new life i'm uh, wow yeah the i mean the deck can compete no lie the deck can compete Ooh, interesting interesting okay i've got an idea i've got an idea and honestly i think if i would have brought out the machamp there i think that lapras would have still swept us so i'm playing a little slow and a little bit more conservative here and I think that we have game. Hey, that works for me. I have absolutely zero issue with this. Oh, very, very nice potion. No, I don't want to do that. Okay, what do we do here? I guess I'll attach here. I've got nothing else I can do. If I Sabrina? No, I don't want to Sabrina. No, not yet, at least. Wow. They're helping me out here. What are they doing? I'm very interested. Wow, dude. You're kidding me. You are kidding me. I thought they would have knocked out the Machoke, and now we have Machamp and Machamp. Let's go, my friends. They probably thought they were going to sweep off another Blizzard, but it's not going to happen. We're going full knockouts here. There it is. We took that game because there's no way that Lapras was going to keep up. There's no way that Articuno would have kept up either. And these are the things that Machamp can do for you. Primate Machamp sweep and control it's really nice but i'll provide you with my overall thoughts at the end of this video all right we're going second again we got our mankey and i'm totally fine with that we'll be able to get another mankey or machop with the pokeball and we've got oak too so maybe we could even get into a primate or a Ma or machamp even because we've got machoke in hand already that is a beautiful looking meowth Ooh, another meta deck alakazam coughing is such a great deck destroys obliterates Mewtwo EX. What a great starting hand for us. We've got Machop on board now. We've got Professor's Research. Let us get into a Primate. Oh, Double Sabrina was pretty tough. And we've got our red card. Nice. We'll Reckless Charge in hopes that we get a Primate. And it's also super effective to them. Gotta love that. Weezing's pretty cracked. Kadabra's pretty cracked. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. It's a full sweep. It is a full sweep, y'all. I am going for a full sweep. And I'm not even going to knock out the Meowth. I'm going for Kadabra or Weezing. Hopefully they put the Kadabra up. Weezing, not bad. Oops, cannot do that. All right, well... I'll fight back here. GG. I mean, either way, they lost their Pokemon. They're getting knocked. But this is a solid deck. This is a tier one deck that we're playing against. At least in my opinion, it's a tier one. I think it's ranked around tier two. But this thing, the deck's really good. It just loses to unconventional plays like a fighting deck because its weakness is fighting. Let's go. So even if we don't knock it out, we should be able to win next turn. Because it puts it at 30, and then Machoke does 50 plus a 10 off the Giovanni. So even if they do utilize a potion, it's GG for them. Their best move right now is to knock out this Primate and lose the Alakazam and probably concede right after. I think that's that's the best play for them. Unfortunately, there is no way that they're coming back from this battle here. Wow, they really went ahead and just did time in hopes that I probably leave, huh? That's that's not cool at all. Yep. GG, GG, whoever you are. Don't do time. If you're losing, don't do time. You're better off just literally conceding, especially if you're going to lose. This was better, the better play for the opponent. Now, overall, what do I think about the deck? Honestly, out of 10 games that I played, I won seven out of those 10. I played a lot of Articunos. I played a lot of Weezing, Alakazams. 
I played a lot of Pikachu. The deck is great in regards to beating Pikachu, Alakazam slash Coughing, Dark Decks, Needle King, Arbok, pure, pure Coughing deck. The deck is amazing and it does work. Would I recommend this on a meta level? Probably not. I rank this a three, maybe a 2.5 out of five. And it's just because it's so darn slow. If it was faster, this deck would be tier one off the bat just because of how bulky that Machamp EX is. I recommend this deck for solos. I recommend this deck for friendlies. I recommend this deck for the beginner ladder. If you're playing in the more competitive ladder, I would think twice before taking this deck, which is where I tested the deck in the competitive ladder. And while again, it did really well, seven wins out of 10 is not bad. It really just depends on luck and whether or not you go second. Let me know what you all think in the comments below. Thank you so much for your time, your efforts, and for being part of the community. And if you're not part of the community and I haven't persuaded you to subscribe, check out the rest of the channel. We do Pokemon and we do Yu-Gi-Oh. You might find something that you truly enjoy and we live stream randomly, but we do, and we live stream for at least an hour to two hours. Thank you so much. And until next time, my friends, take care and I'll see you all on the Pokemon Pocket Ladder.